Hello friends, welcome back to the Mom Edits YouTube channel. I'm Amy and today I wanna break down my most worn denim of 2022. It's actually kind of shocking to think that there's only a few months left of the year. Not even a few months, plural. It's like a month and a half. Shocking, I know. And every end of year, I love to go through my closet, really sift through my wardrobe and figure out what was my favorite of the year, what were my most worn items, maybe what didn't work and I never even wore more than once, donate those. But today I specifically wanna go through just my jeans and I kinda wanna pick out and share what were my most favorite, my most worn, maybe not my most worn, but what I thought was the most cool and fun to style up. So let's head over in my closet. I think what's really special about doing these types of most worn or favorite of the past year roundups is that in this line of work, we try on so many Many clothes arguably almost all the clothes so it's really cool to see like what stands out as the top favorite what beat out all the rest in the stores as a particular really really good one i love it when the other tme contributors do these types of roundups so i hope you'll love it just the same okay i want to start out with a bang with my most worn of the summer and my most worn of the entire year and coincidentally they're the same brand so we can say that this is definitely my favorite brand of 2022 my most worn of 2022 the ultimate mvp award goes to a goldie which if you've been following along on our other channels, other social media pages, you've probably seen me talk about A. Goldie a ton this year. And it's because I just became obsessed. I actually discovered A. Goldie years and years ago. I found a pair on a sale rack at Urban Outfitters. And I think they said like made in LA on the tag. This was so many years ago. And I remember just thinking like, ooh, these look cool. Made in LA, they seem like an indie brand grabbed them. They fit amazing. I just recently gave them away, but I loved them for so many years. And then probably, probably around the time I had my baby or got pregnant, my love for them kind of just fell away. The sizing is a little bit hard, at least for me personally, to figure out. And I think when your body changes a lot through pregnancy, you don't want a pair of pants <laughs> where the sizing is confusing. No pregnant woman wants that. You want something dependable. So these fell to the bottom of the pile and I didn't wear them for a while. But then this year, 2022, my love for A. Goldie was reawakened. We'll talk about my most worn of the summer. What's hysterical is I've never owned a pair of white jeans in my life until this year. And I'm just obsessed. They have a coastal grandmother feel to them. You can wear them with any sweater and immediately just feel sophisticated and put together. They're beachy, they're coastal, they're all my favorite things. These are called the A. Goldie Luna Pieced jeans, I believe. And that's because there's actually an extra section of fabric pieced into the side to give them a more baggy, funkier fit. They're so cool. They're probably the most unique pair of jeans I've ever had. And I found myself so obsessed with how unique they were that I actually got them in a regular blue wash as well, because I love them. The sizing is a little oversized. However, I prefer my true size. I liked that they were a little loose in the waist. It added to that beachy coastal vibe and I was obsessed with them. So, most worn in the summer and the best brand, Luna Pieced Jean in white. Truly the most worn pair of denim from my closet this year is the A Goldie. I think it's called the 90s Loose Fit. Actually, part of me feels like they might've renamed it to just the mid-rise loose and not the 90s loose. I will double check and I will make sure that we link the right pair of jeans. But A Goldie's Loose Fit, they're just what I needed this year. Everything about their casual, slight bagginess, off-duty look is not only cool and on trend, but ridiculously comfortable. The thing about A. Goldie, the one negative, if you will, was that their sizing is hard to nail. I feel like for me personally, I need to size down in almost every pair, which is not common for me. And it can make ordering online a little bit complicated, but once you figure it out, they become the best pair of all time. So I prefer these in a size 27, which is one size down from my normal or my regular size, whatever. And sizing down one just lets them sit a little bit higher on my waist and they don't fall off. I feel like my true size jeans, they kind of just fell right off me. I should note that I don't really have any curves, no hips, no butt, very SpongeBob SquarePants, if you will. And so if you're like me, your regular size will be a little too loose. Size down one or two, and these become the most dreamy, loose fitting jeans of all time. This pair of cargo jeans from Mother is an investment. It has a hefty price tag. However, you can find them on sale. I have found them on sale multiple times 
just this fall already and that's how I grabbed mine. This pair may arguably be considered a most worn of the whole year, like may have beat out the A Goldie pair had I had them all year long. That A Goldie pair I had since January of 2021. So I've owned that pair for quite some time. I just bought these at the end of summer, but it's pretty much one of the only pairs that I've been wearing right now. So take that with a grain of salt. It could have been my most worn had I had them all year. I don't know, but they're so good. For a cargo jean, I have tried a lot of cargo jeans this fall because I love the style. This pair is so soft from the get-go. It's so soft, they get better with each wash and wear as well. We recently moved across the country and I wore these every single day on our five, six day car road trip. So if you can wear a pair of jeans every day in a car on a road trip, you know they're good, right? Mother, I usually size up in, but this pair I got my true size. I first grabbed a size up, a 29, way too big, grabbed a 28 and they were comfortable. Still maybe a little bit loose. They do bag out with wear, so I like washing them and drying them. And for that reason, you could maybe size down one, but I like my true size. They're a really on-trend, fun, funky cargo jean. The bottom snaps into different widths, if you will, so you can have it more of a cinched ankle or a regular ankle. I like them cinched up. They have a ton of pockets. Actually, I wore these at Disneyland recently and they were very convenient for all the pockets because I could hide snacks and my wallet and little cars that my kid accidentally brought into the park. <laughs> I could hide them in my pockets. They're just good. I know cargo jeans are technically a little bit more of a trendy style, but I feel like with brands like Mother and Frame, Frame makes a very similar pair that's just as good. They're more rigid, not as soft, and a little bit more slim fit. But with brands like Mother and Frame, they're making them so well done and so refined and so like cool girl factor, which I hate saying, but they're just, when you put them on, you feel like, I feel like my outfit is put together and I could just have a sweatshirt on with it. They're those kind of jeans. I feel like even though it's a trend, these are pairs that I'm gonna wear for years and years to come. Okay, moving right along. This style that I became very much obsessed with this year is a barrel jean. Barrel jeans just have, it's kind of like that Luna piece jean in white that I was talking about with the extra fabric on the side. There's something about them that are so cool and comfortable. I don't even know how to describe it other than they're just my favorite jean and you need to try them. You need to try them on. I think for me, because I'm a shapeless, more SpongeBob SquarePants framed human, they give just a little bit more interest to my frame. A little bit more, I don't know, spark with the extra fabric and they're comfortable because they're kind of a cooler take on the mom jean, if you will. Gap does them just as good as anyone else, if not better. Their barrel jeans are phenomenal. They fit great, they're cool. The washes are really good. What do I get? I like my true size, but in the tall inseam. I am just under 5'10", and I prefer tall inseams almost always. And these are a good price, and you can often find these on really good sales. So watch out for codes and grab a barrel pair of jeans. Thank me later. All right, last on my favorite jeans of 2022 roundup goes to a pair that I barely wore and I wish I would have worn more because I just keep hanging on to them because they're cool. They were very much a trendy jean of the year and they're still going strong. They're a low rise cargo jean. And I grabbed them and they're really cool. I swear I just wore them once, maybe twice because I am just not a low rise girly. <laughs> but they come in a ton of colors. They're very affordable. This size is a medium and they're honestly just a little bit too big for me, but I didn't want to go through the hassle of returning this pair. And so I actually just got this really cool, I don't even know how to describe it. It's, they're extra buttons that you can put on your pants when your pants are too big or even like too tight and so that you can readjust them, readjust the sizing. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense, but I will link them from Amazon extra buttons you can put on your pants to help with the sizing. So I put it in further in on the band so I can cinch the pants a little bit tighter until they fit how I like them. This is like an honorable mention of arguably the coolest pants I bought all year. Oh yeah, they have this really cool cinch on the knee that are just cool and an intention, a really fun like detail, but I just didn't wear them. But I'll link them because like I said, they're cool, which how many times can I say cool? in this video, you count and let me know. You'll get a prize. But I don't know, maybe I'll keep them. Maybe I'll try them again. And maybe, I, maybe I'll still fall in love with them. Only time will tell. All right, friends, that was my roundup of my favorite jeans from my own closet of 2022. 
I hope it was fun and I would love to know what your favorite jeans are of 2022. What was your most worn or what was just your top favorite? Drop a comment with yours below because I am desperate to know and if I haven't tried them yet, I wanna try them. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, do all the things, bye. <laughs> the most cool, it's really cool. Ooh, these look cool. Cool and comfortable, cooler take on the mom jeans. They're cool because they're cool and they're really cool, really cool. The coolest pants, they have this really cool stench. Cool, they're cool, say cool in this video. You count and let me know.